Hi, my name is Michael Pollard, and I'm an artist that's part of the San Francisco our, uh, Alumni Artists Group. And I went to the San Francisco Art Institute in the 90s with uh, many other folks. And we have a thing called Ask an Artist, and I'm going to answer questions from Elena, who's, uh, I think that says 14, goes to Red Oaks School, I believe, in New Jersey. So I got family in New Jersey, so props. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about me. I um, live in Chicago with my family, and I'm a painter. I also draw, and I make stuff in addition to 2D. I, I take found objects and turn them into things. So um, the first question was, if I was a digital artist, would I know what a good app to use um, to make art with? I don't, but my suggestion is to find something that's free and simple so you can not only get your feet wet but not also buy something that you know it, maybe it won't turn out the way you like it to um, a lot of times computers are already have a simple program on there or um, you know your school might have one too so be sure to check with them um, so the next question where did I, I lost my questions here um, hang on one sec So the next, so the next question is, um, wh when you were a kid, what did you draw? Comics, magna, animation, dinosaurs. Um, when I was a kid, I drew a lot of superheroes. Um, Batman, for example. I used to copy from this book right here that, um, at the time, uh, I just constantly checked out from the public library. Um, where my dad used to take us a lot when we were kids and then I could read all the newspapers with comic strips and things like that. Um, I also drew a lot of Star Wars stuff and things like that. Um, okay. And then the next question is, what was the exact moment you knew what you wanted to be? Um, I kind of knew I always wanted to be an artist. My grandfather um, was an artist. Um, he focused on uh, desert scenes. He lived in Arizona and um, we call him the Bob Ross of cactuses. He also did a lot of kooky clown paintings um, which are really cool and between that and my love for comic books and cartoons I kind of fell into um, really wanting to be an artist and um, when I got into high school that's when I started experimenting with paint and things like that and became more of a artist artist rather than an illustrator that did like comic books or things like that so the next question is is if I um, doodle in class and the answer is absolutely and I still do it today um, I take the, the um, CTA which is the elevated train to work and I draw on my way to the train and I do it in all my meetings at work but luckily, I, um, I work in an art school, and there's lots of other artists and creative people that work there. So nobody really minds because everybody's kind of got their own thing going on. So that's really cool. Um, it, it always helped my mind kind of move a little bit, you know, to pay attention, too, because since I was drawn, things were starting to click. I was paying attention to that. So, um, But pay attention. It, it'll come in handy, trust me. Um, what markers and and did you do I use? Um, I like sharpies, um, which are the pretty standard kind of things. Big black bold outlines, like my favorite artist uh, Keith Haring, or one of my favorite artists. Um, but I'm a really a regular pen and ink kind of guy with a lot of my drawings. Um, and what I really like are colored pencils, um, Prismacolor colored pencils. They're only like a dollar a piece, but these are some really nice markers that I've found, which are Faber-Castells, and they're only like uh, a buck or two. Um, and the last question um, is, do you get any inspiration or a cartoon or a TV show? And the answer to that is, oh yeah. Um, I still watch cartoons every day. Um, I have a new rule with the pandemic and everything is to watch cartoons when I get home from school, just like I did when I was a kid. I usually just watch one, but... Um, 
so I, I do that. Um, I have a little app on my phone that I can watch Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck or something like that. Um, and then my son is 10 and he's really into comics and cartoons and things like that too. And um, kind of shares my love for vintage comics. And we watch a lot of uh, Simpsons and SpongeBob. Um, I know the SpongeBob heart song by heart, but I'm sure you do too. So I won't uh, bore you with that. But um, thank you for your questions. I really enjoyed it. And good luck with everything. Bye-bye.